Now, let us look at the concept of water sustainability. We know that inflows replenish the water sources and outflows provide us an estimate on the uses of water. For example, consider a tank that is constantly being filled by an inlet pipe and water is also constantly used by an outlet pipe. The inflow can be measured as the amount of water liters per minute and the outflow can be measured as the water liters per minute that flows out. However, the amount of water in the tank varies from time to time. But the amount of water available for ready use at any given point of time is known as the stock of water. One of the major challenges to address in the present day and age is to maintain a sufficient reserve of water as stock available for the future generation. An example of this challenge is the mining of water from the ground level by digging bore wells. Now, let us learn about the various ways in which water is utilized. There are three ways in which the resource water is utilized by mankind. They are water for agriculture, water for domestic purpose and for animals, water for industrial use, water for agriculture. Water for the cultivation of crops is obtained through rainfall and some process of irrigation. However, in case of floods, the soil cannot store moisture more than its capacity and in turn damages the roots of the crops. On the other hand, in case of droughts, due to the inadequate moisture in the roots, the crops get dried up. The uses of water for industrial, domestic and agricultural purposes is increasing parallelly. Hence the competition for exclusive share among all the three purposes has also increased. The main challenge with the industrial sector is that of water recycling and pollution control. Water is essential for human beings and animals. But its uses for domestic purposes like cooking, washing, cleaning, etc. has increased rapidly. Thus, a proper planning is must in order to make water available for the future generation.